In Creo Parametric, you can import a DXF file as a drawing. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in Creo Parametric. To bring in the DXF file, you can go to the Open button. And here I am looking in one of my folders. And right now the type is set for Creo files. If I go to the list, you can change to All Files or you can choose DXF explicitly. Here I have the DXF file. You'll notice that the open button has changed to import. I'll click on import and we get the import new model dialog box. And since this DXF file did not contain any 3D geometry, it automatically defaulted to drawing. If it had any 3D geometry, it will default to assembly, but you can change the radio button back to drawing if it's just a 2D file that you want. And in this particular situation for the file name, I'll just call it crankshaft and then click the OK button. And now we have the import DXF dialog box. And this has two different tabs. The first one is the import settings. And here for the space name, well, it only gives me the choice of model space. And then we have three different choices for importing dimensions. The default is as dimensions, or you could import them as separate entities or as symbols. And then we have map text symbols too. And this is for the font type that you want to use. Be aware that there is a corresponding config.pro option. It's called INTF to the underscore in underscore symbol underscore font. And so if you change the value here from what you have in the config.pro option, then this will end up overriding that config.pro option. Then we have some other different options in here, like to import associative dimensions. So that means that the associative dimensions will be to the relevant draft entities that they should dimension. And then there's an option to recompute associative dimensions. In other words, take a look at the actual values for the dimensions and recalculate them. You can also automatically associate dimensions. In other words, if there were any dimensions that were not associated to the relevant draft entities, well, this will end up pairing them off. And right now, import 3D solid entities is grayed out because my DXF file doesn't have any 3D solid entities. Then you can choose to import blocks, blocks from AutoCAD as symbols. My DXF file didn't come from AutoCAD, so I don't care about that. Then you could also import points. I don't care about those. You can create a variable sheet size and create multi-line text. So those are the different options that you have over here. There's also the option to open a log window. A log file is created, which basically gives a summary of the numbers and types of entities that are imported. But honestly, I never care about that. All right, so that is the first tab. The second tab that we have over here is mapping properties. And this is for mapping colors in the DXF file to Creo parametric entities. Also, there is a layers tab. And so here's the layer in the DXF file. Here's the layer in Creo parametric. And if you want to not bring it in, you could remove these different layers from in here. You also can control the line fonts, the lines fonts from DXF and what they'll be used in Creo Parametric, and also text fonts. And you'll notice all the different DXF file text fonts here are being mapped to the default Creo Parametric font. But I'm okay with all of that. So to bring in the DXF file, let's click on the OK button. And now we have our DXF file brought in, and you can see all the different entities that were imported. And if I go to the sketch tab, you'll notice that we have a whole bunch of lines, circles, ellipses, arcs, and splines. Also some cross-hatching in here. Because again, all these different things were essentially brought in as 2D entities. Also, you'll notice over here, one of the dimensions ended up flipping. It's supposed to be 15 degrees, but it's looking more like 195 degrees. So I might need to do some adjusting there or maybe delete the dimension and go back to it. 
Speaking of dimensions, if I go to the annotate tab, you can see that we had a number of different dimensions and draft notes brought in. So for example, if I select a bunch of these different ones over here, these are my various different ordinate and linear dimensions. And then we have some of the different draft notes. So you can see in this particular case, that is for some of the zones around the sheet plus some of the other different notes that we have in here. So that's how you can bring a DXF file into Creo Parametric. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.